Let's move. 20 seconds. Let's go. Let's get it. Hurry up. He's back. My name is Shane Elford and I am the player performance manager here at Panthers. My role entails not only the physical aspect, but also, uh, I guess, the well-being approach, uh, also recovery. In a nutshell, it's trying to get the players to perform week in, week out. The performance role really is responsible for um, maximising the player's performance on game day. And a big part of that is developing the best training plan we can, uh, especially during the pre-season period, to, to maximise their, their physical and um, technical potential for when we get to the competition. I guess the plan in the pre-season is to get every minute out of them. We need to get them fit, fast and strong and every club's doing that and you just can't get this time back in season. I like these, these are good. These are good, these little 3-3s three -three just get them switch right on, covers off on a lot and we can get into it. Let's move, be a good teammate. You gotta move, you gotta move. A lot of organisation goes in behind the scenes for every drill, every rep, uh, every session that we do, and that's pre and post training. Everything's timed to the minute, to how many players are in each drill, to the rotations, to the rest time. Time there, that should be everyone. You can jog get a drink, boys, under the post today. So planning training, uh, I suppose initially we need to decide collectively what the team needs in regards to both training load and the content of training. So we really need to have a look at what we did last year and, and use that to decide how we improve and, and make, um, make changes for this preseason. After that, on an individual level, like guys are gonna need different things depending on their body composition or their fitness or their strength. And we really need to yeah, tap into what the individual needs are. Nobody wants to break any players, but we also, we have to push that limit. A lot of it is around pushing the players to their physical limit to really uh, improve their physical performance. I'm happy to say it on camera, I have permission from Ivan that if they break, they break, that's okay. But I think all the planning that goes in pre and post training, we're, we monitor so much. We know uh, basically how they're feeling and we rely on a bit of feedback from the players as well with their wellness assessments, etc. Make your way in boys. Find a pass. Ball down, let's go, let's get it, hurry up. If you pass backwards, you can score playing footy. Work, gotta work, gotta work. Two handed touch, try. Blows me away the technology that we actually use this day and age, really, with the GPS units, the live monitoring. I've got Tommy sitting up in the lovely coach's box there, training while I'm sweating it out on the field, but he's, he's monitoring all the loads and the speeds, etc., and he's radioing that information down to me uh, for a little bit under or for a little bit over, and just sort of how we're tracking each session. Top three horse, Kenny Ford. We use the GPS in a number of ways, um, one of which is to monitor the load of the players to, to ensure that every individual is reaching their targets for that particular day. Um, we also do it on a collective basis to ensure that when we prescribe a drill, it's what we expected it to be from a load and intensity point of view. And then lastly, we can use it as a, a bit of a competitive measure. So when we play um, conditioning games, as an example, like we can um, we can compare the players and, and give them a ranking. Mitch Kenny, Liam Henry, Sean O'Sullivan, top three. There's absolutely nowhere to hide on the field. We can see how fast they're running, how far they're running, how long they're running, etc. As you walk back past the screen, have a look where you are. They might think they're working hard, but the numbers don't lie. It actually encourages them to work harder, and that's, that's the goal. We want to get the most out of them every session. It's too big a spread, boys. So. That's the sort of effort you're looking at. Yeah, we're running a fine line as it is a short pre-season. We had a very short one last year as well. Things are going to plan, touch wood at the moment. We've, we've got a schedule and we're sticking to it. And we feel that we'll have the players ready for round one and what's coming in the season ahead.